guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Manga Man Drew, and I'm here to do another reaction to One Piece Manga Chapter 1046. And most likely this is going to be another banger of a chapter if we're going to be focusing on the fight between Luffy and Kaido. Most likely we're going to get some more information about Luffy, about his new awakening, about his new Gear 5th, and potentially have the fight ending in this chapter. Luckily enough, I haven't been spoiled which is weird because since I've been doing these reactions I've been trying to avoid spoilers but I have no idea what's going to go on in this chapter so I'm very excited to see what's going on and we're probably going to get a color page actually whoa what's interesting is that we actually don't get a color page oh and the title of this chapter is called Rizo as we have the cover page which is continuing the Germa Double Six Cold-Blooded Voyage Volume 9 a pair of intruders on Pudding's Turf chocolate town Ooh, and they are apparently wearing capes i have no idea who these could possibly be one of them is definitely not raging so i have no idea who it, it could be it's gonna be freaking hilarious i can't wait to see who these silhouettes are but we're gonna go right into the chapter as oh we're starting off from where we started last week which is luffy bouncing on the ground and how he sucked kaido in the face so hard that you literally saw an imprint of it in the back of his head as luffy's like hmm what should i call that last move gumu gumu no something <laughs> as you just have kaido's like uh just tell me one thing who the hell are you? Ooh, I guess what's going to be happening right now is that potentially this isn't Luffy, but this is Joy Boy. And it's you having Sunisha saying, how nostalgic, that rhythm, Joy Boy. Hey, Joy Boy. It's as if you're right there. How exhilarating. This all feels like fate. I can't help but think that we should put our faith in this boy. Ooh, ooh. So this could just be more of like foreshadowing or more implications that yeah, sort of kind of Joy Boy has an influence on Luffy, but what we're seeing right now is actually Luffy to an extent. As he says, who me? I'm Monkey D Luffy, the man who's gonna surpass you and become king of the pirates okay if, if you had any doubts on who the heck this person could have been yeah it's luffy that is such a luffy thing to do my name is luffy and i'm gonna become king of the pirates so if anything kaido's probably going to look at this boy and it's like huh all right then um oh yeah yes i knew it Oh, oh, yes, he's smiling. We see Kaido smiling. It's like, glad to see you still got that big mouth, Straw Hat. We call this an awakening. Your mind and body are finally able to harness the potential of your ability. And what a ridiculous power it is. Hey, once again, showing how ridiculous his power is. Oh, it's so dope. As you have Kaido saying, I've lost a lot in this war. My men, my castle everything i've built here but i suppose the same is true for you huh as you have him it's like i'm not through yet i'm taking back everything you've stolen no matter what Ooh, and is he apparently Ooh, we have kaido's like doing a gondarai meteor shower and it's just pummeling luffy as luffy once again comes back and begins pummeling kaido oh these are some very cool panels we get to see the indents of kaido's katabo slamming into luffy not piercing it and then vice versa we get to see luffy punching kaido so much turning his body to rubber as we see like his like outlines of his fists sort of kind of being punched into kaido oh this is so cool oh oh and luffy's like uh, cough cough oh no oh no he's losing he's losing fast he's losing energy fast he's like pant pant for fumes to reach up here the whole castle must have gone up in flames oh it's the fire that's causing him to cough that means thousands of your men are trapped in the inferno below they're going to roast to death oh as you have luffy's like i left everything that's happening down there to them 
I've got nothing to worry about other than sending you flying. Aw. Luffy trusts his friends and his comrades and everyone as you just have Kaido. Ooh, this is a first. Devastating Gust. I think this is maybe a, a sort of kind of play off of one of Kaido's like moves that he used to use when he was in his full dragon form. And luckily enough, Luffy is able to dodge it by literally hiking his pants or his legs up to avoid the slicing of his attack from Kaido. Oh, that's so, uh, I, I, I love how humorous this is. But we're actually cutting back, oh gosh, we're cutting back down to uh, Onigashima under the uh, dome inner floor dome interior as they're saying put it out it's not just the castle all the towers are going up too oh gosh everything is on fire as we get to see that chopper is reuniting with nami as he's like nami you're okay what do we do the fire won't go out as nami is yelling chopper i can't find zoro sanji frankie Usopp, robin brooke or jimbe i think they might still be trapped seriously but how can we reach them? Onigashima is basically a giant pyre now. Even here isn't safe. There's nowhere to run unless you find a way to land. As you just have a uh, chopper suggesting, Zeus, what about your rain? As it's like, a flame this big would just eat me up. Aw, dang it, Zeus. You had one job and you can't do it. As now we're cutting over to the basement castle interior. As it's like, it's no use. We're surrounded. There is no escape. Damn it all. Oh no. Oh no. Our favorite polar bear boy is getting heat stroke as we're on the first floor. It's like, I'm not good with heat. Oh my gosh. I feel so sorry for Beppo. As we're saying, you're being a real pain, Beppo. Youch, it's hot. Pet, pet, as we get to see, uh, Laws like pirates, his like crew is helping people. It's like, this might be it. I don't think we're gonna make it. Captain, save us. What is, what are they going to do? They're, they're also exhausted as we also cut over to the basement as, wait, it's called Rizo. Is Rizo going to entrap all of the flames in his scrolls? Ooh, my Lord, how awful. You must have suffered a lot to end up like this. No, no, no. I'm not a burned up corpse, you hear? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious, I think. Okay, oh, that's great. As you have now, uh, we have, oh my gosh, we have Robin as well as Bruku. Brooke saying, we have to find a way to get everyone outside. As Robin's like, there's may not be one. Okay, this is building up to something. As we are also in the pleasure hall, left brain tower, as we have Sanji's like, whoa, no good. Even if we get outside, the garden is gone. Ooh. As apparently we're in the basement, as we have EB, EB saying EB, his name, as we have, oh, uh, this, oh no, EB is mad at Apu. It's as Apu, it's like, it's been a mild burn. Man up, break the wall already before we both die. Who cares if it costs you an arm? EB? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. As we have a poo saying, there's no point in having a big body if you don't use it. EB. What? You want to go, bastard? Oh man. Freaking a poo can't catch a break at all. Which I mean, it makes sense, but he just can't catch a break as we are apparently also in the basement as we have Usopp saying lethal green star sprinkler as it literally gets set off in flames it's like you're wasting your energy sir coming from I forgot his name but it's the giraffe guy oh my gosh as you have um uh, oh my gosh I I forget their names no I didn't it's Usopp Usopp saying shut up I've got to do something I made a promise to Izu I'm gonna have to save Ken Kiku and myself to boot and it's like don't forget about me sir oh gosh I want to say that's Hamlet it's Hamlet yeah it's, it's Hamlet because he looks like a Hamlet as you have oh there's Frankie carrying our little samurai boy Zoro and she's like this fire is getting out of hand as they're apparently in the right brain tower as they saying, which may which way am I even meant to go I gotta find Chopper soon or Zoro's not gonna make it as you have everyone behind him saying, save us, big bro. We're going to burn to death before that. Keep whining like a bunch of weaklings and I'll burn you myself. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
this is coming from obviously from Frankie. And oh, come on, where's where, where's Izo? Izo Rizo, as we're apparently fourth floor castle interior. Interior, it is ready, Jimbe Dono. Ooh, what is he going to do? I'm truly grateful that you agreed to put your path in me. Luffy decided to ally with you, Samurai. How could I possibly doubt you? Now let's go! Right. Oh, oh, is that Rizo? Oh, that's Rizo. Yeah, I almost forgot. The feeling is mutual. I believe in you as well. Ever since that day, I swore I would never be unprepared. <gasps> Yo! Wow! Toki-sama! Momonosuke! Hiyori-sama! Oh, I know exactly what... Oh, oh, yo, 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 back then I couldn't even protect my Lord Odin Sama. Meanwhile, Momonosuke Sama and the rest of his family almost burned in his castle. Despite my ninjutsu, I was unable to protect any of them. I can never make up for that failure, but I will never let myself be that helpless again. Never. Ooh. It's Zo. Inorashi, what is that rain? It's the Nisha washing itself. What an insane amount of water. May I take some? Yo! I'm not allow, I will not allow the men who bravely joined our raid to die in a mere fire. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Prepare to be doused with an unbelievable supply of water. Nimpo, squirrel, squirrel, jutsu. Nin, 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 nin. Elephant bath! As we get to see the entire castle, this entire area, just being flooded by water. Restoration! Oh, and it makes so much sense for why freaking, oh my gosh. I can't, Jinbei, Jinbei is here. Jinbei is like, how immense! Water hot! Fishman Jujutsu! Ocean current shoulder throw! Yo, yo, this is gonna be, yo, oh my gosh, yo, he's freaking moving the water and is allowing it to pretty much put out the fires as they're on the third floor, another dead end, we're done for BB-san, like heck we are, after that battle, I won't let us lose to a lousy fire, who started all these flames anyway, as the big, Bowl of water comes in, washes over them most likely. Oh, it's, oh, oh, I see what he's doing. He's bursting the water down through the first floor or the third floor and most likely through the second. It's like glow flood every corner of the castle. Ooh. As we have rise, I was like, please don't be too late. May the water of Zoe rescue our comrades. Oh, first floor. Let me down! Fa 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 fa! Come on, this is the least you can let us do for you, killer son! Fa 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 fa! Ow! Hot! What do we do? There's nowhere left to go! Huh? Why is everything quaking suddenly? Booge! Water! We're saved! Unless they drown! Oh! Hurry, Momonosuke kun! What? Why? Kaido is still alive! He's at his limit! We won't be able to sustain his flame clouds much longer. It's up to you now. You need to make clouds strong enough to hold Onigashima. This was always our only option. What? Coming from Momonosuke as we see freaking uh, Yamato just pulling on his freaking like whiskers. Yeah, his whiskers. Oh, gosh. As... <laughs> Onigashima is about to fall. Oh, oh my gosh, end of chapter as we get an image of freaking Luffy holding a lightning bolt in his right hand as we just see like freaking Kaido smiling and Luffy smiling as apparently One Piece will return and Weekly Shonen Jump 2122 with a color spread. Okay, so... One or two things is happening. Um, one, either into the entirety of Shonen Jump is going to be on break next week, or One Piece and My Hero Academia are going on break at the same time, which, oh man, that's gonna be a bummer. But we got a very cool chapter this week. 
It's not what I thought it was going to be, but it kind of was. So what made this chapter interesting is pretty much the fact that Rizo sort of kind of saved the day. And I know people are going to say that it's kind of like Ash Pulley or something like that, that he has like a scroll that has a whole bunch of water in it and that he's just doing it now. But I mean, it, it, it does make sense. We saw that he was able to literally hold the flames of Kaido inside of him and we were never told that he didn't have a scroll that contained water my theory was that he was going to contain all the fire but hey this is just as good he has an entire scroll of water and he used it to gather water from zo which makes sense because that's where he was he was at zo it was in an area where water was prevalent so it makes sense that he would use the scroll to do so and the fact that the reasoning why he did that is because he didn't want anyone to burn and that he learned from what happened with um uh, Hiori, Momo, uh, to Toki, all of that, and that this was like sort of like a plan just in case I don't know he and his comrades are set on fire again. It makes sense. I thought it was very cool that this was a cool way to use Rizo. And for the most part, this is pretty much like a catch up chapter where you get to see where everyone is who's still alive, who's still conscious, and we get to see how they're panicking, but now we're going to most likely see in the next chapter, most likely uh, Luffy defeating Kaido, if not next chapter, within the next few chapters, and most likely the entirety of Onigashima having the flames being put out. So either one of two things is gonna happen, uh, specifically, I want to think about what's going to be happening with Orochi. Either Orochi is going to get saved, and that's going to be a bummer, but he could be dead, and I don't know. So there's some things that you can think about when it comes to this chapter, but all in all, I really enjoyed this chapter. There was a lot of cool action. We got to see that pseudo confirmation that this is actually luffy but he may have inherited joy boy's will his ambitions but he's still overall still luffy so that's great to see as well as we get to see kaido really getting more into this fight and enjoying it more and potentially showing that he's going to eventually fall and it's just going to be a matter of time but yeah this is my reaction to this chapter of one piece hopefully you enjoyed the reaction as much as i enjoyed reading this chapter as well as reacting for your enjoyment so if you want to see more content like this uh subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more of my reactions to one piece or other manga series so until next time catch you guys later do all that cool jazz goodbye uh -huh.